Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's time for tea because every day you should take a little time out for yourself, whether it's to have tea, have a cup of coffee, just have a glass of lemonade, whatever your choice, you can sit down and chill and just enjoy. Um, I've got a tea brewing here that I'll tell you about in just a moment. I wanted to remind you that I'll be drawing the winner for my lovely lavender lime tea um, at the end of this video. There'll be a video tacked on. I have not recorded it yet, so I don't know who won. I'm recording this on Sunday, and I'm trying to wait to give people as long as possible to be able to enter. So there we go. And I will talk about that more when I do that drawing and record it from my laptop with my shaky hands. You know, you know how that works with my giveaways. That's how we do here. All right, putting that down, the tea that we're doing today... I've managed to almost lose. Hang on, here it is. I don't know which month it came with though. I just saw it sitting there and decided to use it. This is the front of the packet. It is a loose tea. This is T Fiori Italia. So I'm guessing it's Italian. A uh, Venetian Rose Peach Bellini. Picture this. Sicily, 1912. Oh, sorry wrong picture it uh you're sitting in a bistro next to a venetian canal watching gondolas float by and sipping on a perfectly fizzy peach bellini this hibiscus tea blend with notes of peach and rose might be the next best thing serve over ice for a refreshing summer treat or drink hot to warm up the coldest winter night one teaspoon 212 degrees six minutes okay and i've still got it brewing in there and it's i still have a few minutes left when i hear the beep i'll know it's been six minutes um, apple, hibiscus, rose hip seed, roasted chicory root. There's that blasted chic chicory again. I'm hoping I don't taste it because ch chicory ruins everything for me. Red rose petals, peach pieces, safflower petals, marigold petals, and flavoring. It says it is caffeine free. And you can look this up either at Sips By. This is from my Sips By subscription. I just don't know which box it was from. By the way, Sips By is a subscription box that I pay for out of my own cashy money there it is kind of upside down because i have the box open and um you get four different teas a month and each tea has about four servings of it either you get four tea bags or four enough for four servings of loose tea and they also give you um disposable bags to use or reusable muslin bags you get one reusable muslin bag with each box that you get so you can do it either way or if you've got a tea ball and you want to do it that way great you do you boo okay but this one, yeah, that the chicory root scares me because y'all have seen me with chicory before. Blah, 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 blah. Just don't like it. Don't like it. But we'll see. It does smell nicely of peach, though. Now, I'm not usually a fan of peach flavored things. I like peaches. Love peaches just fine. Love peach cobbler, that sort of thing. But peach flavored things usually to me are kind of yucky. Oh, and I've got some tea coming out my tea bag on the top. Blast it. I don't like having little bits of tea in my tea. Does that make sense? But this is a nice color for sort of an herbalish tea. And boy, it smells peachy. I'm really getting nothing else in here but the peach. And usually hibiscus is pink. I'm not getting any pink out of this. And don't worry, in this tea bag, there is plenty of room for the tea to expand. It's not like being constricted at all. There's a lot of room in the bag. So, oh, there's my six minutes. And yeah, this is my little trick for holding on to that string. Yes, the string is technically long enough to tie around the handle and blah, 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 blah. That never works for me. And I end up losing it in there and I hate having to fish it out. So I use my little clip, my little clothespin that says I love my cat on it. See how a lot of the tea ended up floating up to the top and it started to get out of the bag? You sneaky bugger. All right, let's let the water drain out of that. Let the tea actually drain out of it. Put it on my plate. No, I'm not just putting it on the table. I have a plate down here with a little spoon. And I'm going to taste it with the stuff floating in it that came out the top of the bag, grr, uh, with no sweetener and no creamer. So we're going to see how that is to me. You know, I tend to like things a little sweet. It does have a lovely peach scent. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. Because peach flavored stuff is usually yucky. But since this is made from actual peaches and not like weird peach flavoring, maybe, maybe we'll see. Gotta blow on it, burn my face off if I don't.
It is not off-putting. I can tell you that straight off. A lot of times peach flavor is off-putting to me. And that water that you hear is Oscar drinking out of his fancy fountain. Yes, he has his own water fountain. He's not spoiled. Not at all. That's actually quite nice. I am not mad at that peach flavor, and that's unusual for me. Especially since it says it's got chicory in there. It must just be somebody waved some chicory next to it as they went by because I'm not getting chicory, and I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. But I do think it needs to be sweet, or sweeter at least. This is my uh, Aldi brand Stevia. And again, nothing sponsored. This is just what I purchase. And don't worry, you'll be able to see the Stevia going in because that's how I roll. Let me take the spoon back out temporarily. And you can also see that bits of tea floating around in there. All right, let's go. And it does dissolve quite nicely and adds a nice sweetness with, for me, no aftertaste to it. Now, some people, you know, your mileage may vary. Uh, different people like different sweeteners and different things. Could I just use sugar? Sure. But then I'd have to dose for it, and I don't want to because I, I stick insulin. So it's easier just to use the artificial sweetener. Okay. We have dissolved. Still smells the same, which that's not always the case. I know that sounds weird, but sometimes adding a sweetener will change the scent. It needed the sweetener, y'all. It needed it. Wow. Wow. Mmm. That is nice with the sweetener. Oh, now I'm torn. I don't know if I should add my creamer or not. <laughs> Because that's really nice with just the sweetener in it. It has a lovely peach flavor without being, hi, I'm a fake peach. You know, it's like somebody's made some peach cobbler and made a tea out of it. Which, if you've never had peach cobbler, dude, check it out. Mm. That's nice like that. It is. But I need to test it with my creamer because I test just about everything with my creamer. Unless it's a purely herbal tea like a chamomile or something. Uh, Sugar-free vanilla creamer. And don't worry, you'll get to see it going in. You will get to see it going in. Okay, here we go. It's getting empty, so it's hard to put it in there. <laughs> just a little bit of creamer in there. And we can watch it go round and round because it is beautiful and mesmerizing to watch it just is give it a little stir and now it looks like i have a mug of creamer but i don't you saw how little i put in there um maybe a tablespoon there was really not that much mm. it's a french vanilla french vanilla um creamer with zero sugar that vanilla flavor really accents the peach nicely. Mm. That is quite nice. I was apprehensive at first because of some of the ingredients in it and because of the peach, blah, 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 blah. I shouldn't have been. This is delightful. And I should show you the other side of my mug. It does say relax. As in relax, don't do it. Do, 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 do. Anyway. <laughs> 80s girl, you know. Um, oh, speaking of 80s, coming up this coming Sunday, there's going to be a book look, and it's going to be a book from the 80s, but it's still kind of fun. So uh, make sure you check that out with me. And um, yeah, have some tea. Take some time for tea. Take some time to chill out. Do some crocheting. Because if you're like me, crochet just kind of makes you go, ah, and you can relax. Unless you're stressing about a pattern or something that's different. I mean, just do one of your easy ones. Like, my, easy for me is like I showed on um, uh, my vloggy thing a week or two ago, making these little face cloths, moss stitch. Easy peasy. I can do it in the car, and it just calms me. Give me something to do with my hands. Yeah, do that. Have a cup of tea. You don't like tea? I know. Ms. Zara does not like tea. That's okay. Not everybody has to like the same things. It's all cool. We can all hang out here in my little corner of the world. So I do appreciate you coming by for Time for Tea. 
Hopefully you've checked out some of the playlists that I had pop up across uh, the top. If not, do so. You may have missed something cool, you know? And I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all. Okay, it is time for the giveaway draw. We are on the YouTube Random Comment Picker site. That is the URL from my video there. Uh, there's the video, the very beginning of it, and I have already marked it as closed so that somebody is not confused. Let's see if I can scroll with one hand. I have changed it to SipSpy, filter duplicate users. The SipSpy was the, uh, the, the term you had to use for it. And seven, is it plus two? Yeah, seven plus two is nine. Yes, we can do simple stuff. Amount of unique comments is seven. Only seven folks put SipSpy in their comment to get the free tea. Mm -hmm. It was a lavender mint tea. It is uh, by Tea Lira. Let's uh, put that in there. And because of the lavender, I decided to go ahead and give it away. Lovely lavender and lime. I love lime. Not a fan of the taste of lavender. So I decided to just give it away. It is a loose tea. And I'll probably send some of those tea bags along with it in order to be able to use it. So, um, no, I'm not going to join premium now. Good gravy. Oh, where is it? There it is. See, doing this one-handed while I hold my phone is kind of difficult. All right, I'm going to hit the start button and it's going to do twirly bits around and give us some names. Kathy Diffenbacher. Um, Kathy, see, that sips by tea sounds wonderful. I love your tea time videos. I drink herbal tea in the evening so I can sleep. Have a wonderful day, Deborah. Well, you have a wonderful day too as well, Kathy. Uh, be sure and send me an email. My email contact information is in the video description down below. And I will get that tea out to you. Thank you so much. And thanks to everybody for playing. Bye, y'all.